your dog or cat has an allergy, you might think it's food, that there could be a big problem with these limited ingredient diets. They may not just be one ingredient, so it may not even work. Find out what you need to know in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. So I was listening to this veterinary podcast. I'm like, what? And I heard what? This is the study here. It's the determination of mammalian DNA in commercial canine diets with uncommon and limited ingredients. So specifically, this study focused on testing 21 different over-the-counter diets, such as this one here, which is a so unique limited ingredient, considered duck as its sole protein source. They says tested 21 to see if they really were limited ingredients. Could you really be using these diets to test to see if your dog or cat has a food allergy? Right, you know, it's what I tell you guys to do all the time. If you suspect your dog or cat has an allergy, First roll out food. I suggest getting a unique protein, unique carbohydrate, you know, this limited ingredient, single allergen, and you know, test it out first. A minimum in a sort of six to eight week food trial. But what if it's not just that protein, like, and your dog's still itching? Like, how do you know if they do or they don't have an allergy in the first place? Like, could the food companies be not telling us the truth? Well, according to this study, of the 21 foods they tested, one of them had not, did not have the listed protein. Say for, they don't list the company, but an example would say that it had duck as the primary, as the protein source, didn't even have any duck. Then we got 20 of the other 21 had other proteins that were not even listed uh, in the ingredients. Meaning you thought, you're looking at the ingredient list, that you were purchasing a limited antigen protein that was say for instance made up of only duck guess what not only did it have duck in it which is supposed to it also had say for instance beef and so how could you then go ahead and feed that and know that you're actually doing a proper food trial they do go on to say in the conclusion of the study that they were using a type of dna testing which would sort of test for you know minuscule amounts of dna but what it's showing is that there's secondary contamination, um, completely common throughout this, this pet food industry. So just because it says it's limited ingredient duck, doesn't mean there's only duck in it. It also doesn't mean necessarily um, that it's gonna work if you're gonna do a proper food trial to roll out your dog having a food allergen. And third for myself, it just sort of once again puts in question like what, what should I be feeding my dog what really is in that food or not in that food? And, and how can they say that it's, you know, this one limited ingredient when that's not the case? You may actually have to go ahead and make your dog's own food for that six to eight week period. If you're gonna be 100% guaranteed that Say, for instance, you're just feeding your dog duck and say it's duck and sweet potato and maybe some vegetables, you're going to have to make it yourself. Then you know 100% for sure. Could this diet work? Yeah, it could work. It's a darn good food, darn good company. Pippi loves it. It's a lot darn easier for me to, to feed duck by pulling something out of a bag than it is by cooking it up. But Pipster, that's maybe what you need to do to ensure that you're actually you know, doing a proper food trial. I'll put a link to that study in the show notes um, let you guys do some, a bit more of your own research. And, you know, just more than anything, being aware of it, knowing that just say, for instance, your dog didn't respond to that food trial, may still be that your dog actually has a food allergy. You just haven't done a proper food trial yet, unknowingly. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Entry Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Thanks, Pipster, for once again being so such a gracious dog host on the table. Pee-pee's reward. Oh my God.
Hmm, I wonder why Pippi likes coming here. Yes, oh, here, have some duck, Pipster. Yum. Okay, thanks, Pippi. <laughs> Good girl. Thank you for not eating my fingers off.